letters sent to dozens of South Suburban parents accuse their kids of being involved with gangs, but the parents say the allegations are not true. CBS 2's Audrina Bigas went to Homewood Flossmore to find out what's going on. Good evening. My parents are not happy about this and students came to us saying they feel really singled out here for no reason. Now these families were called to one of three mandatory meetings here at the school today. They walked out of those meetings and came to us frustrated with how this is being handled. Your child Jalen has either directly or through association been involved in what is considered gang activity. A letter given to Homewood Flossmore senior Jalen and his friend Khalid. We were sitting in class confused like what's going on? Why, why are they trying to incriminate us? Serious accusations in these letters also sent to their parents. Infuriated by the letter uh, because it is, it is an accusation that I know is not true. And there's more to this. I am requesting that you and your child attend a mandatory meeting on Saturday, October 20th, 2018. Verbatim, if we did not show up, our child would be excluded from the school. It implies that the child would be expelled. The letters were sent to dozens of students. We're told most play on the football team. It kind of puts a scarlet letter on the back of the students who were invited. Now it's like teachers look at, like, look at us differently. My math teacher might think I'm like a gang member or something now because they asked me for to go to this uh, meeting. Parents say the principal led the meeting and passed out packets. Every parent was given a packet. Uh, some packets had pictures in them. Any disciplinary actions that have happened their entire time they've been in the school and pictures that they pulled off of social media. And they tried to like portray us as doing bad things or portray us as having symbols up because because they don't understand what they mean. Like some symbols have to do with football. But the big concern here is there's no proof that they're doing anything. Uh, when I asked a question about what criteria was used to determine who would come to the meeting, that was never answered. So we reached out to the school about this. We asked the principal, why weren't police called to this meeting if there's suspicion of criminal activity? And what's next? What's going to happen with these students and their parents? No one got back to us with those answers. We're in Flossmoor, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. In the letter to parents, the principal said deans at the school have done their own investigation over the last few months, but police were not mentioned at, the, at all in the letter.